what's up everybody and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play split screen on Minecraft PC Java edition the first thing you guys want to do is click the link in the description for GD launcher or go to your internet browser and type in GD launcher or in other words you're gonna type in GD you know, launcher and it'll be the first link right here where it says GD launcher you're gonna go ahead and download for Windows or for your operating system they have Mac OS or Linux as well as Windows. So go ahead and click download for Windows. Then you'll go ahead and click save. Once it's completed downloaded, you're just going to open that file back up. It's going to it's going to go through the installation process as it just did there. Then you're going to be met with a screen that says sign in with Microsoft. You're going to go ahead and click that button and you will get a code right here. What you'll do is you'll copy the code and then you will click copy and open in your browser and then you're gonna sign in with that code let me sign in and I'll be right back and after you've signed in with your Microsoft account you're gonna get a all done you are now signed into GD launcher you can now safely close this window go ahead and close it out or minimize we're gonna go ahead and close out of it after you sign in you're gonna be brought to a home page that looks similar to this without any instances so what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate where it says add instance up here in the top right corner you're gonna click add instance we're gonna be doing this on forge you can click the version of minecraft you'd like to play on any one of these is fine then you're going to rename this to pull layer one or any name you want to name it after that you're going to want to click create now we're going to go ahead and launch this version of the game mainly because we want to go into the options because we need to change one of the settings in the options settings press enter to enable the narrator once your game is loaded you're going to go ahead and click continue you're going to go to options then you can change any one of these settings we're going to go and change down the music volume click done done and quit game now after you've done that you will now see that your game is going to be not playing anymore go ahead and click right click on that and click open folder i want you to go ahead and open the folder down here you're going to click on instance then you're going to see where it says options you're going to right click and open with we're going to go and open with notepad you're going to scroll down until you find the setting where it says pause a blur screen on pause or pause on lost focus go ahead and change that to false so false then you're going to click and you're going to go to file click save then exit out of that the next thing you want to do, the whole reason why we picked fabric, is you're going to want to go to mods, click add mod. The first thing you want to do is get off. You want to get off me, click download latest. The next you want to do is get midnight, con uh, midnight lib and midnight controls. Go ahead and download both of them. Just like that. And for the last thing that we're going to be downloading is sodium. We're just going to go ahead and click download for that. All right, then you're going to go back to your library and you're going to right click on it and click on duplicate. Once you duplicated it, you'll see that you have another one right here. Go ahead and click edit and name it to another one. We're going to name it player two and then click update. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and launch both of them at the same time. All right, and once they have launched, you'll notice that you have two versions of Minecraft just up and running right now. What you want to go ahead and do is you want to go and click Options on one, and you're gonna go, you're gonna click Controls, then click the little controller button up here. You're gonna go and you're gonna change whichever one is going to be using controller. So you go to Options, Controls where the little controller is right here in the top right corner like just like that you're gonna do virtual mouse and then you're also going to uh, go down to where it says controller options you're gonna do unfocused input 
and then after that you are all good go ahead and click done and done now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on multiplayer you're going to click you know show the screen again proceed on the top left corner you're going to see where you have a little lock box go ahead and click offline then choose your username All right, you're going to click play offline. We're going to go back. We are going to go single player. We're going to go ahead and create a world name. All right, then you're going to go ahead and pick whatever you want. We're going to do allow commands. Then you're going to click create world. And while this is creating a world on the on that side, let's go ahead and head on over to this screen. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to multiplayer, click proceed. And then over here, you're going to do offline mode as well. Choose your name, username. It can be any name that you would like to choose. Next thing you want to do is you want to head back over to your left side. Then you want to do open to LAN. And then start a LAN world. Next thing you want to do is you want to hop over on this one on the right side, and then you're going to see that your LAN world is going to pop up. Click join server. Oh, we had the the wrong username. I have space, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and click join server one more time. All right. Now for the next thing that you got, what the next thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to plug in your controller. But if you've noticed, there is no pause when I clicked out of it. So let's go ahead and I'll plug in our controller real quick, and we'll go from there. All right. You're gonna want to go ahead and plug in your controller. You're gonna notice that it says X gamepad input. And your controller should now work. As you can see right now, it is controlling both screens, which is not what we want. We want one screen to be controlled by mouse, and one screen can be controlled by keyboard. So the best way to do that is to hop over on one side, then hop over on the other side. Notice how I'm not paused at all. I'm able to play both sides. So a very quick fix. For this is go ahead and click save to title you're gonna click quick game you're gonna go to your player one or whichever player you're not using the, the keyboard or the uh, controller on go ahead and click it you're gonna click mods and then you're gonna go ahead and pause midnight controls and midnight lib this is the best way that I found to fix it all you gotta do after that is relaunch player one all right, and now that you have taken that off, you're going to go ahead and click the world that you were on. Then you click open to land and start land world. Next, with your controller, you're going to click the world. Okay, if that happens, it is just a okay. You're gonna have to go back to Minecraft, click this, click offline, play offline, just like that. You're gonna click back, go to single player, then click subscribe, then click the world again, play selected world. Then you're gonna open to land again. All right, with your controller, go ahead and refresh. Then click on your LAN world, and there you have it. You are now controlling. You can now play split screen on computer with a keyboard and mouse and someone on controller. Now you and your friends can play together, or you and your brother or your siblings can now play games together. This will also work with any other mods if you would like to add any. I will show a quick clip of that right now. All you guys have to do to add another mod to your instance is click it, click mods, add mod, and they have a variety of different types of mods, 
really any mod that is up to date. So we just went and downloaded JEI. All you do is click download latest and then you'll go back, click on your other instance, mods, add mod, and you'll install the same mod on this one. Here's why we ha also have JEI on this one. And just to show that it does work, here we have both versions of our Minecraft up and running. Remember to go to your multiplayer and then set yourself as offline. Play offline. Same one on the other side. Click offline. Play offline. And click back. Single player. Start the world. Play selected world. Wait for it to generate. Click refresh on your other side. You're going to set land. Start land world. Then you're going to jump over, click multiplayer, just click LAN, click join server. And there you have it. I'm going to show you that JEI does work. Here's JEI on this one. And JEI on this one as well. And just like that. And that is how you play Minecraft split screen on PC. Java edition. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.